Hello friends, in the second part of the design of reinforced concrete structures, we will understand the two types of uh, limit state that is limit state of collapse and limit state of serviceability. So these are basically two parts of limit state method and limit state is the method of design which we understood previously. So we can say these are the two principal limit states what we will be understanding today. So first we will go with the limit state of collapse. What does it mean by limit state of collapse? So it deals with the strength and stability of the structure under the maximum overload it is expected to carry. So we are dealing here with the maximum load what any structure can take or we can say overload what any structure can take. So here we are dealing with safety. Last time what we talked about is safety and serviceability. So this part is about safety. Up till what limit uh, we can consider the safety is the maximum load which structure can carry. That is become our limit. What any uh, What is the maximum load any structure can carry? That will be the limit state of collapse. If a structure can carry something XYZ load before getting failed, then that will be the, the method of limit state of collapse. If we are considering that maximum load. Whereas uh, limit state of serviceability says deflection, cracking, etc. should be within the permissible limits under service load conditions such as deflection, cracking, vibration, fire resistance, durability. So here what we are talking is about serviceability. This is safety, this is serviceability. Besides safety, there should be serviceability in the environment, in the structure what we are living. That is, there should be a limited deflection so that uh, we can uh, feel comfortable for living inside. Sometimes the cracking uh, visible in the structure also makes us uncomfortable. The vibrations what we feel sometimes in our structures, that is also not good for the living people. Besides, see, what we are talking right now is besides safety. Even if the structure doesn't collapse, here the people living inside uh, the structure are, in, are threatened or we can say are not comfortable due to these things, deflection, cracking, vibration, fire resistance and durability. So here we are differentiated the limit state method by limit state of collapse and limit state of serviceability. So in my next part we will be understanding the limit state of collapse and limit state of serviceability individually in deep. So till that time do watch all my parts of the design of reinforced concrete structures and I'll keep posting.